Hello, welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I am now in the car on my way to boot camp. You saw me make my protein coffee this morning. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I make my protein coffee, what's in it. It's actually something that I have every single day and I pretty much make it the exact same way every day. With the exception of boot camp days like today, I do not put in my Just Better Fiber because I'm working out outside at 5 a.m. and there's no bathroom. So I typically have my Bellway Fiber gummies after my workout on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, I do my collagen for her, like you saw me put in my protein coffee this morning, and then two tablespoons spoons of Just Better Fiber. I do take a fiber supplement every single day, whether it's Just Better Fiber or the Bellway Fiber Gummy. So today I just did the collagen for her. I'll take my fiber gummies when I get home from my workout today. So I will link everything down below, the collagen for her, Just Better Fiber and Bellway gummies down below for you. Again, that's what goes in my protein coffee. I have it every single morning. So typically on boot camp days, I only drink about half before I actually head out the door to go do my workout. And then I typically finish the other half while I'm getting ready for the day before breakfast. So that's kind of where we're at today. But I have, like I said, been getting a lot of questions on my protein coffee. So I wanted to remind you exactly how I make it. And yes, this is something I have every single day. Sometimes I have two protein coffees in a day. It just really depends on what I choose as my second protein supplement of the day. I do limit myself to two protein supplements per day whatever that looks like. That means things like protein shakes, bars, powders, etc. That was a long way to tell you that I had my protein coffee this morning. I've got my water. It is 64 degrees this morning. It is 4.56 a.m. I have a pretty busy day ahead of me today. I'm expecting a couple of packages today. We got a lot of fun things going on. So let me get this workout in, get ready for the day, and then we'll have a healthy breakfast. I'm ready for the day and I am ready for breakfast. I'm super hungry. So I'm going to make my omelet. I actually showed this, I think in last Wednesday's what I eat in a day. I change it up. I put different things in there. So today I'm making it a little bit different, but it's been a really big staple for me because it's high in protein, low calorie, low fat. And then I pair it with the fruit for some really good carbohydrates and fiber. So let me show you how I make my omelet. Like I said, I've been using this Trader Joe's garden vegetable hash. It has cauliflower, zucchini, bell pepper, fire roasted corn, Corn, celery and red or sorry yellow and yellow onion I'm going to cook this up first and then I just put it in a storage container and keep it in the fridge and then when I make my omelet I just add a handful to the actual eggs I'll show you how I make the omelet step by step but I really like this vegetable hash it helps me get in my veggies you can add it to literally anything so I'm gonna cook that up I'll show you how I do that and then I do egg whites typically about a third of a cup of egg whites today I'm going to use the Sargento ultra thin provolone cheese like I said I change up the cheese and meat that I use and then in my meal prep on Monday I pre-cooked some of this turkey bacon so I'm going to add a couple of slices of chopped up turkey bacon and we're going to pair that with some fresh blueberries so let me show you how I quickly just cook up the hash how I store it and then how I make my omelet so I have a small skillet here. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then I just add the hash to the skillet. I'm going to go ahead and cook up the rest of it. I don't want it to go bad. I'll definitely be making another trip to Trader Joe's for some more. I'm betting you could probably even freeze this. I may try that. It just says perishable, keep refrigerated. So you could probably freeze this as well. So I'm going to just cook this down until it's softened and a little bit on the crispy side. So the veggie mixture is cooked. I just put it in a little storage container here, keep it in the fridge, and then whenever I have my omelets, I just add, like I said, just a scoop of veggies. I don't track this at all. You know I don't track non-starchy vegetables. I don't worry about the tiny bit of corn that's in here. So I'm going to scoop this out. We'll use this same pan to make our omelet. So I'm going to spray my pan again with some non-stick cooking spray. Add in my third of a cup of egg whites. And then I just add my veggies to about half of the egg whites. Then I'm just going to slice in two pieces of the turkey bacon. I just kind of chop that up with my kitchen shears into little chunks. And then my one slice of ultra thin provolone right on top. And then I let it cook completely, fold it over and my omelet is ready. And here's my breakfast. So there is my egg white omelet with the veggies. And then I measured out 50 grams of blueberries on my food scale. So I'll go ahead and put all the points, calories, macros here on the screen for you for breakfast. So I'm going to try giving these to my dogs. These are those ones that I bought at Trader Joe's. They're the cheese puffs. Palmer doesn't really like crunchy treats. So 
Let's see what he thinks of them. Do you guys want to try the cheese puffs? Oh, do we want, oh, good sit, bud. So here's what they look like. They smell good, they smell just like cheese. See if you like the cheese. Uh-oh, somebody might not like it. Mom, here, I'll put it here. It's a cheese, eat it. I know you'll eat it. Oh, it's a cheese. Eat your, eat, your, eat your cheese. Eat it, buddy. He might not eat it. Eat your cheese. Crunchy McCrunchersen over here. Are you not gonna eat your cheese? He's been sitting here with his cheese while I mixed up my recovery. You're not gonna eat it, are you? Well, I'll leave it there in case you change your mind. I just finished my breakfast, 10 out of 10. It was a really, really good. I'm going to mix up my post-workout supplement and I'm so excited. I have been impatiently waiting for this release for months. I've known about this for quite a while and I can't wait to try it. And that is the brand new flavor of the Motivate Recovery in Fruit Punch. Motivate Recovery is amazing. It is packed with BCAAs, everything you need to recover from a workout, recover from really any strenuous exercise. It tastes amazing. It's a great way to get in your water. And they just reformulated the recovery, added the fruit punch flavor, changed up the packaging, and I absolutely love it. I love recovery because it has an ultimate hydration formula loaded with electrolytes, supports faster recovery, helps with endurance, helps enhance muscle repair, 60 servings in a container for an amazing price. And and then of course the brand new yummy fruit punch flavor. I literally haven't even opened it. I'm so excited for this. So we got this little tiny scoop and we're just going to put one little tiny scoop of the recovery in our water. I'm going to add in some ice. All right, cheers to the new Motivate Recovery fruit punch. Ooh. This is so good, it's so fruity. And then there's a little bit of a salty taste, which I actually really like. That's where the electrolytes of recovery come into play. This is absolutely delicious. Probably my favorite flavor of recovery. The formula, the taste of the new formula is definitely better. Blended beautifully in my water. This is really exciting. Now you can purchase the recovery individually, but it's also part of the energy bundle. This is what I would recommend. My top two favorites from Motivate, it's the Motivate Recovery and the Motivate Burn. Now the Motivate Burn, I like to use that as my pre-workout or when I get that little bit of an afternoon slump or just need a little bit of extra motivation and energy. And then like I said, my recovery is what I use post workout. So again, it includes my absolute favorite burn, which is an all day energy powder that helps you burn fat and decrease your appetite. There's a brand new flavor of burn too called icy blue Raz. It's on its way to me. I'm just waiting for my package to arrive. I'll be sharing it with you in a future video. We'll try out the new flavor, but you can get the icy blue Raz or any of the burn flavors along with the recovery, any of the recovery flavors as part of that energy bundle. So I will link motivate down below for you with a 20% discount. You can also use that on the energy bundle. Bundle. So it's basically like double dipping your discounts or you can use it on the individual products, but 10 out of 10 for the fruit punch recovery. I want to take you guys outside for a second because we've done quite a bit of work to our yard as far as landscaping over the last couple of weeks. So the first thing we did is this entire area was filled with aloe vera. And remember I told you Palmer had to go to the vet because he had a scratch on his eye. We're pretty sure it came from the aloe vera. So we had our landscaper pull it all out. And then we planted this bush right here. It's called lantana. It gets really big and then flowers, these really pretty yellow flowers. We have one in our front yard. It's super hardy. It's great in the desert. So we, this is actually four pots that we planted and it'll grow and it should fill this entire area all the way over to our lemon tree. And then when we were buying plants, Walmart had this tomato plant on clearance for $5. Look at all my little baby tomatoes already. I'm so excited. It is full of tomatoes and we have, it was on its last leg. It was pretty dead and Troy has been diligently watering it and it's just thriving and it's giving us tomatoes, which is super exciting. Now back behind the bench there, we had this bush, the same bush that's on our fence it actually grows up kind of like ivy so it'll grow all the way up the wall but so we actually took that out only because we wanted something with a little bit more color and so we planted these these are bougainvilleas 
Bulgainvillias. I don't know how you pronounce that, but we had our landscaper plant two of those and those will be more like a shrub. So they'll grow, they'll cover a bit of the fence and then eventually you will see them behind the bench here of our fire pit. And when we pulled out the aloe vera, Troy found these cute little painted rocks. Somebody must have painted them and either put them in the aloe vera or they just ended up there and we put them next to our little plaque for diesel. I just think that they're so cute. We have this big fan palm. Actually, Troy Troy's gonna cut off this branch and that branch. This thing is just thriving. And that's where we have the memorial plaque for diesel. And then to the right of that, we planted this. I can't remember what this is called. It's not looking so hot. This is a Diplin D Diplindinia, Dinia. It's not looking very good. So I'm hoping that it's going to make it. Hello, Lola. And then to the right of that, if you remember when we first moved here, there were two trees here. One was a lime tree that didn't produce fruit. And the other one was one of those orange trees that the oranges are specifically for marmalade. So you can't eat them. They're super gross and bitter. Well, we decided to get another fruit tree and we did a mandarin page. So we're actually going to get like little cutie mandarins. And if you look, it already has some fruit on it. Now, I don't know if they'll fully ripen or when we'll get like a full batch of fruit, but there are quite a few mandarins already on the tree and she's little. It'll definitely grow, fill in the space. And then next to that one, which I hope makes it, it should be a nice addition to our landscape. And of course we have our lemon tree, which we cut back to nothing and it is just back in full force. There's actually lemons on it as well. So you can see it already has lemons on it. So we should get lemons probably closer to winter. I believe when we moved here in March, we had lemons. And then I wanna say it comes in the winter as well. So maybe the winter in the spring. We did not get any fruit in the spring because we had cut it back, but we have lemons on our tree and tons of them. So we should get a good amount of fruit for the winter season. But yeah, it's nice to have a little bit more nicely landscaped backyard that just suits our needs a little bit better. Just kind of cleaning things up, making things a little less cumbersome to care for. And then when we cleaned our windows, Troy walked all our patio furniture. So we are just living our best life. So remember when I said that I was expecting a couple packages today? Well, the first one arrived and I'm actually dreading doing this. I dread this every time I do it. I mean, I want to do it, but I dread doing that and that swimsuit. So I ordered quite a few swimsuits from Shein, as well as some cover up. I live in Arizona, so we have access to the pools in our community actually year round. They don't close at all. It's warm enough here year round to go into the pools. So I was trying on a few of my bathing suits from last year. Some of them are a little bit too big on me. Some of them are kind of falling apart a little bit. I'm also going to California in September, Hawaii in November. So I thought what better time than to grab a few affordable bathing suits and some cover-ups. And so we're gonna try those on together. And we're going to see how they fit, if I like them. I grabbed one two-piece, two tankinis, and then four different cover-up things. One of them is a pair of shorts and then three actual cover-ups. So I'm really excited. I wanted to get a few different colors. I did a black bathing suit, an orange, a pink, and then just some different colored cover-ups. So we are going to try these on together. Everything is from Shein. I will have it linked down below for you with the discount code. I'll put everything down there if you're in the market for some bathing suits, but let's try these on and see what we think of them. All right, so first up is this pink one. This is the one piece that I got with the kind of leopard detailing on the side. Right off the bat, I really like this. I love the cut of this. I have a lot of loose skin right here from weight loss, and I feel like this doesn't really dig into that area. It does have some ruching, so it camouflages the tummy area, which I really like. Square neckline is very flattering on everybody. I actually really, really like this. I also got these shorts. So these can be used as a swimsuit cover-up. So if you're going to and from the pool or the lake and you don't wanna be waltzing around in just your bathing suit. So they're a little bit of a tulip style of short. So again, perfect for a option for a cover up. You can even wear these shorts on their own. These are really cute. They're a really soft kind of silky material. And I think they look pretty cute with this swimsuit. And then I decided to go ahead and grab these cute little overall. These are just in a adorable option for a cover-up. Now they are definitely more of a see-through material. I don't know, yeah, you can see my hand through there. So they're definitely see-through, probably not something that you're going to wanna wear around the town. They are definitely a little bit more on the see-through side, but I really like these. They're very comfortable and again, perfect as a cover-up option. Okay, Shein, this is adorable. I love the color of this, this kind of 
bright orange fun tankini. I appreciate that the top of this is long enough. You can even pull this all the way down. It won't reveal any skin or you can just have a, a pop of skin showing. I love the material of this. It kind of has a ribbed pattern to it. Now there are no straps on this. So you're not going to have a lot of support. Now I will tell you full transparency prior to me having my cosmetic surgery, there's no way I could have worn this bathing suit. I'd have been tucking everything in, but now I can actually wear this it's comfortable. There is some built-in cups and a little bit of ruching in the middle. And then there is some ruching on the tummy as well. So if the tummy's a concern for you, there's definitely a little bit of ruching. And like I said, you can even have this, you could have this up a little bit to show a little tummy or pull it down. I really love this. I really, really, really love this orange. Orange has been my vibe lately. Now this is a fun cover-up option. This is actually a wide-legged pair of overalls. The material of this is really thin. It reminds me of the little black overalls. Now this is barely see-through. So I feel like you could wear this day to day. You would just again want to wear a cami underneath. You can barely, barely see my orange bathing suit underneath and my bathing suit is bright. But this is really fun. Just another great option for a cover-up. And one thing I appreciate is that the straps on this are fully adjustable. This is really cute. Again, I could see myself wearing this day to day and it's just another fun full coverage option, especially if you are a little bit self-conscious in your bathing suit. This is a great way to get to and from the pool, the lake, the beach. And here is the black bathing suit. This one is really cute. It's definitely a little bit more booby than some of the other bathing suits. So take that into account if you're interested. I really like this see-through portion. It's very, very flattering. It covers the tummy area. The bottoms too, they have a lot of support. And again, the tankini top can go all the way to the bottoms, or you can show a little bit of skin, whatever your preference is. It's definitely a little less coverage on the top, but I think it's super cute and super flattering. I actually really like it. I'm comfortable in it. Again, prior to my cosmetic surgery, I don't know if I could have pulled this off. So depending on your body, that's something to take into consideration. But the orange suit and the pink suit, they're definitely going to have, they're going to have more coverage up here. But I think that the halter top style of this is really, really flattering. And if you're concerned about this being a little less coverage on top, this is another fun option for a cover up. It is definitely, it is a crochet kind of sweater material. And I have to say, I love the bright green of this. This would be super cute over a black bathing suit. It would even be cute over the orange or the pink bathing suit. This one is definitely a cover up. You can see through it completely. It's perfect as a swimsuit cover up. And again, if you had a fun colored bathing suit underneath, it would give that really fun pop of color. But I actually really like this. It's comfortable and you know, in the summer, I mean, my nails speak for that. I am in my neon era. So this, another great find. So that was a successful swimsuit haul and cover up haul from Shein. Like I said, I'll link everything down below for you with a discount. I love it all. I can't wait to rock it this entire summer. Remember, every body is a bathing suit body. So wear the swimsuit, be proud, stand tall, loose skin, extra fat, doesn't matter. You wear the bathing suit and you rock it. And Shein is just a great way to pick up multiple suits and cover ups for a really affordable price. So I'm going to have a super Super quick morning snack. It's already almost 10 o'clock. Uh, that omelet kept me so full, but I'm ready for my second coffee of the day. So we're going to keep it really simple. A while ago, I shared the slate milks with you. Well, I discovered that they carry iced coffee too. So this is kind of like the Starbucks Frappuccino, but the macros on this are exceptional. It actually comes in three different flavors. I'll pop a picture in here of all the flavors. Each one of them is only hundred calories, one gram of sugar, and 20 grams of protein. There's a mocha, a vanilla, and a caramel latte. They're all absolutely incredibly delicious. So if you're someone that likes a coffee on the go or like me, you like a second coffee kind of pick me up during the day, these are amazing. They taste as good as the slate milk. So now I'm buying the milk and the coffees. I love them. And I've actually mixed this in with my drag up cold brew to even give a little bit more coffee flavor delicious. But today I'm just going to have it right out of the can. And then I'm also going to have one of these healthy eating all the time and go bars. These are the mini. So they're about half the size of the full bars and they are the perfect snack. The, also the macros on these are incredible. The ingredients, super clean. So here is what they look like. These are in the cranberry flavor, less than 10 ingredients, only sweetened with honey, four grams of protein. And the minis, they're only a hundred calories. So like I said, they're literally the perfect snack especially paired with a cup of coffee. 
So I'm going to do one of my little healthy eating all the time and go mini bars and then my slate caramel latte. I actually buy my slate milk and iced coffee on Amazon. I'll link them for you. And then healthy eating all the time and go is a small woman owned business. And I do have a 12% discount for healthy eating bars as well. So I'll link that for you. I buy both the full size and the minis. I love them both. But this is a perfect snack, 24 grams of protein. 200 calories, you can't beat it. Get him, get him Lola, get Palmer, get him, get him, Lola. yeah, get him, get him, get him, yeah, get him Lola, yes, Lola. Palmer. This is a daily occurrence at our house, isn't it? Do you wanna get him? You're so pretty. Palmer, are you a pain in the butt? Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. For lunch today, I am going to have my enchiladas that I made in my meal prep. These, I'm so excited. This will be my first time trying these. I just made them yesterday. You actually get three of the enchiladas for a serving, and then I'm going to have a tablespoon of sour cream. So let me warm these up, get them ready, and we will try them out together. All right, so here are my enchiladas. This is a lot. This is a lot for the points and calories. Let's taste test it. Here's Mmm. Ooh, that's good. So what these are is high protein chicken enchiladas and I used ground chicken and then you use cottage cheese in place of cheese for extra protein. I actually like the cottage cheese better. It's even creamier and richer on the inside. I definitely have to make this. I'll link my meal prep down below if you missed it. I'm actually going to refill my water for the day, my second cup of water. My goal is to get four of those in today along with my protein coffee and my slate coffee. That is always my goal. That'll be about 80 to 90 ounces of water. And I was reading through my comments on YouTube and on my Facebook group. And first of all, thank you so much for your support for Sunday's video. On Sunday, I actually released my nutrition and health plan that I've been diligently working on for months and months and months and you guys are absolutely loving it. If you missed Sunday's video, I'll link it down below for you, but I wanted to share a little bit and I'll share a little bit about the planner. This is a health and nutrition planner that I put together and it's something I've been working on for a long time and I'm so excited to finally be able to share it with you. It is fully comprehensive for nutrition, health, wellness, weight loss, working out, fitness, you name it. It has everything you needed it in it including a habit tracker, tons of recipes, suggested workouts, book recommendations. It's literally everything you need for a health and wellness journey. It is under $20 and all of the proceeds of my health and wellness planner are going towards Lola's continued chemotherapy treatment. You guys always ask about her. She's halfway through her second round of chemotherapy. I haven't really talked a lot about the cost of chemotherapy other than letting you know that it is extremely expensive. It is anywhere from about 11 to $15,000 per round. And we've already put Lola through one round. And like I said, she's halfway through the second round. Unfortunately, this second round has been a little bit harder on her body and has been more expensive than the first round. They're helping to support Lola and continuing her chemotherapy treatment. So like I said, every single penny made will be going towards Lola's chemotherapy. The planner is under $20. It's a digital planner. You can use it over and over again. It is perpetual, which means that there's no so you can use it year after year, month after month, week after week. It's just a really great tool as we continue on our health journey. Both Lola and I want to say thank you for purchasing the planner. So many of you have bought it and are loving it. I love it. I've been using it every day since I started creating it. And it really has been an invaluable tool for me, even at maintenance. It's really changed the game for me. So I'll have it linked down below for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Can you say thank you to everybody for purchasing the health and nutrition planner? Say thank you for helping me stay in chemo so that I can be healthy. Are you over saying thank you? Yes, yeah, say thank you to all of our friends, baby. Palmer, you wanna say thank you too? Palmer, you say thank you? Say thank you. Seriously guys, thank you so much. It really means the world to both me and Lola. So for an afternoon snack, I'm going to make a yogurt bowl because I'm having ice cream for dessert tonight. But I'm gonna make my yogurt bowl a little bit differently. I've kind of been liking this concoction. So I'm doing the Chobani Zero Sugar Greek Yogurt in the toasted coconut vanilla. I also like this with the regular vanilla Chobani 
or if I do light and fit, I like the banana. And then I'm going to add half of a sliced banana on top. And then I use the Catalina Crunch cereal in cinnamon toast. I don't know what it is about these three things together, but it's really good. Super, super good. I do between a quarter cup and a third of a cup. I think I'm going to do a third of a cup. And that's actually going to give me about eight grams of protein plus the 11, 12, 12 that's in my yogurt. And then a good carbohydrate with half of a banana. And then I pop a little bit of whipped cream on top absolutely a perfect snack and gives me almost 20 grams of protein. For dinner tonight, I am making turkey burgers and this says the best juicy and healthy turkey burger. So we will be the judge of that. The recipe does call for breadcrumbs. It says it's optional. I'm actually going to skip the breadcrumbs. I don't really find that it makes much difference in the burgers and sometimes it can make them a little less juicy because the breadcrumbs can soak up some of the moistness. So I'm skipping the breadcrumbs. That was a long way around that. But for the recipe, I'm using 93% ground turkey. I like it better than 99. You can use either one. You'll need baby spinach, Worcestershire sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper, feta cheese, and a zucchini. So I added my pound of ground beef, to, ground turkey to a bowl. This is really easy, everything goes into one bowl. I have my half of a cup of feta cheese, my one cup chopped up baby spinach, my zucchini, I did grate it, and then I squeezed out all of the liquid with a paper towel. About two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, then all of our seasoning, so paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt and pepper. I lined a bake sheet with some parchment paper and then I'm going to go in with my hands and mix everything together and then we'll form six equal patties. Here are the turkey burgers. They're going into a 375 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. We just want them cooked completely through. So here are the burgers. They're done. They look amazing. I will show you my plate and give you all the points, calories, and macros. So here's my burger. I have some no sugar added ketchup, some cucumbers, and then half of a serving of Cheez-Its for some crunch. So again, all the information is here on the screen. Like I said, for dessert, I'm having ice cream. I have been really into Yasso bars. Troy and I both have been really into Yasso bars. It is going to be between 105 and 108 all week. So ice cream is in season here in Arizona. And this is just a healthy way to get an ice cream and there's protein in here. 100 calories and I think five grams of protein. You can't beat it. This is my favorite flavor. This is the coffee chocolate chip. So good. So I'm going to have Yasso ice cream for dessert. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing my try on haul of the swimsuit. Tonight's dinner recipe, amazing. It is on my recipe website. I'll link that at the top of the description box. Along with nutrition coaching, everything I shared with you in today's video, Motivate, as well as the Shein swimsuit, and my Facebook group, and all the discounts and links to my other favorite things, and my nutrition planner. If you haven't picked that up yet, we really appreciate your love and support. Every single penny made is going to put help continue to put Lola through chemotherapy, keeping her healthy and happy. So thank you again for your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.